Here's Brody Brazil. But I also want to say this too, in terms of timing, right? So we're saying here, okay, no rush, 2023. Maybe that's when binding vote season like really uh, culminates. At the same time, you run into a few things way down the road that are expiration dates. Like the environmental impact report, it expires, I believe, I, I should go back and check this, if construction doesn't start by like 2027 or 2028. No, we're years away from that. But there are some hard deadlines way down the road. So, you know, when people say the A's can't play at the Coliseum for five more years, <clears throat> Rob Manfred, <laughs> it's true because the Howard Terminal EIR would have to be totally redone again. Uh, so there there are some hard backstops. I do think we should we should explain that and put that out there. And I think there's another one, right, with the, the Port of Oakland. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you. Here's Here's my take on the deadlines. Yeah. All right? One. If they don't have a deal done before the end of 2023, they're off the revenue sharing teat of Major League Baseball. That's the real deadline. Is that official me. language right there, by the way? That's the teat. <laughs> uh, Manfred actually explicitly wrote teat in that. Uh, um, <laughs> so that's the big one to me. Why uh, is this going on my... for the A's will go say, away if they don't have a deal. Say that on your channel. Not a... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, I will not do any hand gestures with that. Um, <laughs> so they have uh, that going for them. Um, the next major one, and it's not like a deadline so much as it is an expectation, is the Mega Projects Grant. They've applied for $180 million of federal infrastructure dollars. That will come either by the end of the year or early next year. Um, that is a real deadline. The one that I have my eye on too now is the port exclusive negotiating agreement with the A's is coming up in the spring. And that one is really intriguing because right now the A's kind of have all the leverage in the situation. What happens when the exclusive negotiating rights are up with the port and they have an EIR and BCDC approval to do some things on that land? Could other developers come in and say, hey, now we want to build here. Right. Uh, and that could put some serious pressure back on the uh, on the A's to like get this thing locked down. So I think that's an important one that, that no one's really talking about right now. Um, those are my major deadlines uh, as it stands for me, at least in the next year. Yeah. And 2023 has just got, I mean, <laughs> there's no other two ways about it. It's It's got to happen by the end of next, next year because if it doesn't, like something is wrong. We ran out of time here in 2022. Uh, elections, government officials changing, like a lot of stuff. And I get it. This negotiation has to be done right. I'd rather have it done right than done flimsy and fall apart next year. I'd rather wait these extra weeks and months and whatever to get it right one time. Kind of like the EIR. Get it right one time and move on and be done with it. And it's another step in the process. 